So, I'm done by title, putting the cylinder head on today. I got something to unbox first. Um, I apologize for my list. I'm trying to work with it. I've got like a brand new set of the clear braces in. And I'm not used to it yet, so. Bear with me, I apologize. I gotta wear them like all freaking time, so. Uh, this is just some tools I got on Amazon. I needed the crank holder tool, not the one you use to take off the pulley, but like it's a tool to hold the gear that sits behind the pulley and in front of the crank still. Um, so when I'm doing like the timing stuff and I can like rotate the motor with it and all types of stuff. Okay, and this is the cam locking kit. So I have one already that I'm borrowing from my boy Clifton. Shout out to him again. Um, I went ahead and bought a kit as well just because I was already ordering some tools. I figured, you know, if something happens, I need to, whatever. Like next year, I want to take everything kind of back apart, take everything, regasket things, um, probably like some braided lines. And but now I got my own, so I don't even know where to put the damn thing. And then this one should be the kit I was just talking about. I don't know where I put my razor. Oh, there she is. But I'm definitely going to have to have this when doing the timing and stuff. So, good. Yeah, so here's this. Um, this is like a crank bolt that threads into the crank. Um, this will thread into the block with these and sit on top of this. So you can like rotate the motor and uh, I said it also keeps that, that gear that sits in between the two still while you're doing the, uh, the timing stuff. So yeah. All right, so. Got the torque sequence up, got the head gasket ready, which we can go ahead and I guess put on now. There's only one way it can go on, really, so. Um, see the gap side, you got the gap side, you can either go this way, which you can't, because you got uh, holes here. Sorry, holes here for the dowel pin, so. Literally, you can only go one direction. Oh boy, boom. Let me get a picture of that. And then uh, she'll help me bring the head over, set it down. We'll lube up. Actually, no, we'll do that now. We'll lube the threads and then uh, lube up the washers and the nuts. And we'll set this down, put the washers and nuts on, and we'll start the torque sequence. All right, got her all lubed up, and now we're going to set the hood on. Uh, the book makes it very clear to not put it on backwards or upside down, so we're going to try our best to, uh, to do that. So. Yeah. Hip hip! Hooray! Alright, so we got everything nice and lubed up here with the provided lubricant. We'll just it says not to be afraid of it, so this is gonna be fun from the ends. Try not to touch anything. You can save that one. No, it's fell back. There she goes. Girlfriend saving the day. Look at you. I can't turn it. I'm too lubed. At least one on each side has got to give me some, some attitude. All right, guys, we got everything lubed. We got the washers on, got the nuts on. Uh, we're gonna do the first round torque to 26 foot pounds. So, show you guys at least one. All right, this is the center. Sure is. Oh, we should start to tighten. It's a big freaking. I just bought this thing. Very expensive. You better. Better work good. I don't think you gotta go to a buzzer, right? I haven't even used it yet. What did it say? I can't 
Can't read it upside down. It'll should turn red. Okay, there we go. That was ratchet. Boom. All right, guys. Here we are. This is the final torque on the head. I'm nervous. Here we go. This is the the first one of the final torque. Going to 80. Oh boy. This is yeah, 72, 3, 4, 5. You need to go to the gym, huh? No, let's start further now. Jeez, that's a lot. Boy. Pretty good. Well, she is all on now, nice and torqued. Dang. I am, I'm just so psyched guys. You guys have no freaking idea how hyped I am. Watch this damn thing with focus. Nice ported head. Mm. Revving this baby out to at least 8,000 RPM. Look at that. Gorgeous. Man, I am excited. I am so freaking excited. Maybe I'll uh, continue this video, put uh, the gasket on in this bracket. Maybe even start with the uh, thermostat stuff. I need to move this bracket back down. Um, well, I can't, I don't really want to do everything till the AC bracket's here to put into. I can get most of the stuff squared away here. Like I said, the injectors, I just got uh, shipping confirmation back on those. They're on their way back. Um, I need to clean the runner things to put in. Yeah, just a bunch of little things, but I'm super freaking hyped. So. I don't know, about to go away for the weekend because it was a birthday. Uh, I'm not going to touch this for a couple of days, so I oh, picked the camera back up. See where we go from here. Maybe throw a couple things on. Maybe not. Either way, appreciate you guys watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you made it this far. I cannot wait to hear this thing freaking rev out. It's going to sound so different, especially with this trans and this build head. I hope we can make 600 on the standard Vortex Turbo. That would be like titties. All right. Later on. It's been a minute since being on camera. Um, started going to the gym last week. Started like over exaggerating my body a bit. And then we went snowboarding this weekend and I beat my body up even more. So I haven't touched the car in a minute. Plus it's been super duper cold. It got down to negative 25 the other night and it's uh, 11 and feels like two right now. So um, I got some parts that came in here. We got one of the tubes for the, uh, what's it called, balance shaft. Need a new one of these because mine was messed up. And then I got an oil pan gasket. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw on whatever that tray is called, plus the neck for the uh, oil pump and the oil pan. Get that stuff done while dinner's getting ready. And in the next video, I got more things here to unbox. We'll start getting some accessories on. Hopefully get this timing done this week. I pretty much have everything I need to get this thing together and the carbon hatch showed up which we'll see in the next video. All types of things going on, but I need to get this on, so. All right, so I'm here in the garage. It's freezing. Just lubed up these O-rings on this here uh, windage tray thing. There's only one bolt that goes to it and one spot that it goes in. Um, it's got like little grooves here in the upper oil pan where it sits. Get these O-rings. Press down in there, there's one. Number two. Everything's sitting in their little slots here. Looks like it. Good, we'll get this little guy in. Let's figure out what size it is first. Most other things here, got a T30. Boy at me, actually. Hand tools, I guess. We're reassembling here. He says eight newton meters for this. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to do this first, huh? Pause. All right, now we're back in action here. I put the uh, oil pickup on. There she is, just two screws here. Gotta put this, the pickup on before this windows tray goes on. Like I said, it's just one little screw. Right there is all that holds that. And we can toss the old pan on and clean up. I bought all new hardware. 
and none of these washers are going to come off for the new hardware. The new hardware didn't come with washers on them. I'm a little upset, but it's whatever. Clean up the old ones. Fuck it. Reuse it. Um, at least I'll have some extra ones if I ever need them. This guy probably isn't one I'm going to go. Yep. Upside down. First try. Nice. I'm just in here cleaning off the mating surface. There's a little bit of a little bit of dirtiness on here. Make sure we got a good clean spot for the soil pan to sit to. Thing looks all good now. We should just be able to drop this on the uh, oil pan gasket. Just clicks right into place here. Uh, it's got grooves for it. Pops right into place. There's like a little uh, tag here. If you guys haven't seen right here, it's like a spot where it where it starts. It's with a little flat spot. So go in and it, and it holds itself in there. I went through and pushed it all down and around. Make sure it's all good. Should just set it on there. This is all of these to 8 nm plus I believe 45 degree turn. So I'm gonna get them all in with the electric. Just real like real quiet like. Then I'll grab the torque wrench. We'll put down the torque spec. And call her a day. Dang, look at that. Looking good. Alright. Tom laps it up. So the book says 8 nm plus a 45 degree turn, I believe it was a 45 or 90, either way. My torque wrench doesn't go low enough for that, so I'm just going to follow the torque order and uh, snug them down tight. And I'll show you that real quick. My dog's out here crying. Get up in on that. Boom, right there. Hit pause. So yeah, plus a 45. So 8 plus a 45. Get her done. Well, y'all, that's all I got for today. It's freezing, dinner's ready. I made a little bit of progress. Um, very happy with this. Now, next up is basically start on the timing. I got the rest of the timing stuff I needed to get in, in. Injectors are here. Um, AC deletes here. All the gaskets, bolts, everything necessary is here. So, next video we should be um, either starting on accessories or starting on timing. I'm nervous for the timing. But, uh, I'm getting these injectors back in, that'll be fun, cams, all that shit, but just look out for the next one. Actually, the next video you guys see will be the carbon hatch unboxing, so look out for that. After that, you'll see this next video, so enjoy. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip-flop.